there are more than 1,500 breweries in the United States alone, each producing anywhere from 2 to 25 different flavors and styles of beer. With the possible 1,800 different beer choices in the United States, and what people guess is close to 20,000 others in the world, it is almost impossible to know the true number of different beers on our planet. And it would take a true idiot to think he could consume every single one. Be a me! That idiot you were looking for? Yeah, we got him. In fact, we got two of them. We're out to drink every beautiful beer this world has to offer. Hello everybody, welcome to another installment of Beer Me. The show we've created about the things that make you randy. Beer, nothing but the good stuff. We're here today with our special guest, Jimmy James Panzik, a.k.a. The Rocket, a.k.a. Blue Balls. And, uh, you know, this is what we do here on our show, Beer Me. We come, we represent the five. You know what I'm saying? We drink some badass beers. And today, we got nothing but red beers for you guys. I'm going to hand the reins over to my good friend, Martin. Martin, you can kick it out for us. Thank you, Michael. Um, today, we're going to kick it off with Red Seal Ale, made in Mendocino, California. All right. 5.5% volume by alcohol. According to the bottle, it's made with water, malted barley, hop, yeast, and that's all. Well, let's see what we got up in that thing, huh? I was told that this beer is not very good, so I don't have high expectations of it. But uh, I'll be the judge of that. Someone told me that it was made with real seal blood. And that's interesting to know because I might just drink it just for that reason. As barbaric as we do get sometimes while drinking these concoctions. It's not very red. Kind of got like a, a weaker kind of color. I can see a tint of brownish red in it, but with uh, with with nothing else left to say, let's, let's give, give it a shot. shot. All right. Uh, why don't we give it to our guest first to give the first rating of the night. It is a lot better than what I had anticipated, but nonetheless, it's still a red ale. Not a huge fan of the red ale, but of the red ales I've tasted, this one is actually quite good. I'd give it a, a seven. All right, seven. Martin, what are you giving this thing? Well, I was I, I was like him. I didn't think it was going to taste good at all. And on the box, it says one of the top ten brews in the world. And maybe, maybe they're right. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. I want to give it also a seven. Good, a seven. That's cool. Cool. This one, this copper red ale is something I think is is pretty decent. You can taste the hops in it. I do happen to like ales a lot for a red ale. I'm gonna give this thing an eight. Uh, I could see myself drinking this thing at Sea World, popping a back, watching Shamu doing them flips. <laughs> could could be good. Probably the price here, but but could be good. That's it for Red Seal Ale. Welcome back to Beery. Uh, we're going to continue on tonight with uh, Murphy's Premium Red Ale. I don't know much about it. All I know is that it has a 5% volume of alcohol and it's an Irish beer. So, let's give it a try. I mean, it's called Murphy's. How much more Irish can they get besides Murphy? Could be Seamus or Shanty or Shays. Sullivan? Sullivan's? Yeah. Every time I hear Murphy, I think, oh, Robo. Look, at the, look Ro at the color on that. Oh, that's nice. What that's about Murphy Brown? No. <laughs> oh, this is nice right here. I yeah, like the bottle. Bad. The bottle's got a little bubble in it. You know, and I like that. I'm liking the color a lot. Oh, this one's got a, a little darker, more if you don't mind. Darker, redder color than the last beer. Uh, this looks pretty tasty. It smells just as tasty. Let's give it a cheers. Um, let me kick this one out. This is delicious. This is delicious. This is delicious. It says here that it's some kind of original recipe. It tastes like something somebody made in their home. Somebody great, with a great home, with great upbringing. This tastes really good. I'm going to give this thing...
probably a seven. I like it for for a radio like this. I like it. Never heard of it, but it's all right. Guest. Uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead and go with an eight. Go above your rating. I'm sorry, do so. But it has less bitterness than the last beer, and, and and for that reason, it tastes just as good, just less bitterness, and it has that red flavor that I usually think ales lack. So I'm gonna give this one an eight. On the box it said, I was just reading it right now, it said that they maintain a traditional way of making it uh, cork beer. Whatever that is, I don't know, I don't care. It's, it's, it works, it's good. I'm gonna give it an eight. Well, that's it for Murphy's Premium Red Ale. We'll be right back after this. Good evening. Every week here on Beer and Me, we all like to have something a little different in our hand. Sometimes it's a beer, sometimes it's something completely inappropriate. This week, it's just beer. Every one of us has a different mystery beer here tonight, and we'd like to challenge you to guess what we got going on here. You'll see that each one of us has something different. A hint for mine is that you might not like it. A hint for mine, they both rated it really low in week one. Hint for me, week one, we gave it a pretty good rating. We've also tried this beer, and again, you might not like it. Give it a shot, put it on our post, put it wherever you want on Facebook, let us know what you think, text us if you want, not too late because you might piss us off. So that's about Don't it. wake me up in the middle of the week. Back to the show. Welcome back to Beer Me. You've seen what we had so far. You've seen the goods. Let's go back to more goods. Our next beer is right here, and it's Lion Kugel's Red Lager. Martin, you want to plop that down over here? I will take one of these for myself. And uh, this beer is brewed like all Lion Kugel's in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. It's got about 4.95 percent alcohol by volume, and uh, it's pretty tasty. I've had it before myself. It's one of the better red lagers out there in the market. So let's just go ahead and pour us some, and then pass it around. Ooh, I like to pour myself a good size taste because I'm kind of a bigger guy. See, and I have like a thirst here. Show you beautiful color on this beer. Everything brewed by the Line Cool Company is quality beer. You could expect nothing less out of the Red Lager. I would say so. I would say I agree with that for sure. So without further ado, let's give a chug to this robust Red Vienna style lager. Cheers, brothers. I, I want to go ahead and I kick it off. I want to kick it off. And I want to kick it off by saying that I give this beer a nine. I give it a nine, 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 nine gulps because I just think that it tastes fantastic. As far as red lagers go, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. I love drinking this stuff. Went up to Wisconsin one time, true story, to my family's cabin. Get up there and what should be waiting for me, thank you to my Uncle Victor, put some Line and Kugel's red lager in the fridge and I had a jolly good time. Guest! What do you want to give this thing? I'm going to also give it a 9. It, it, it is definitely one of my favorite beers. Number 2 on Mike's uh, status favorite beer list a couple months ago. I, uh, I, I would as well give it a 9. It's, it's definitely one of the best beers I've ever had. And like I said, anything from Lion Pool is going to be quality beer. Martin? Definitely the best beer we've tried tonight. By, by far, I, I like to say. It's it's pretty. <laughs> really good. Everything, there's... The taste, the, how the bottle looks, the box, everything, everything's really good. Um, but it, I don't know, I'm just going to give it that short from a chugger. It's really close, I was going to give it a chugger, but I'm going to give it a nine. Three nines. That's just three, three nines is not bad, because three nines is like, what, 27? Yeah. And that's more than 10. The only rating I've ever seen higher is the, you know, Budweiser, so... It's, 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 it's okay to fall short from Budweiser. It is okay because, you know, you, your arms are too short to box with God anyway. So don't step up against the king, you know, unless you're ready to take on the throne. That's a good metaphor. That is a good metaphor. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it for Lion and Kugel's Red Locker. So uh, we'll be back with another message from one of our fans. Hey, what's up? My name's Sadie. Uh, I want to send a shout-out to my fiance. We just got engaged. Hey, babe. I uh, also want to send a message to everyone else out there. We watch Beer Me every week. You should too. And you should enjoy beer while doing it. 